Hello everyone, and welcome to Ask Dr. Krauss Neurosurgeon. Today we're going to be talking about a topic which is becoming more and more prevalent, especially among the youth and younger generations. And that's a problem known as text neck, or texting and neck pain, arm pain, shoulder pain, headache associated with it. Neck and arm pain related to texting is a growing phenomenon. Initially referred to as BlackBerry thumb, the repetitive stress that comes from excessive use of a wireless device's tiny keyboard to send text messages has been found to strain muscles, tendons, and ligaments in the hand, arm, and neck. In addition, prolonged flexed neck posture or hunching over as the keyboard is manipulated can cause cervical nerve disruption accompanied by acute or chronic neck pain. This non-traumatic pain often radiates down the arm, causing a combined pain that is greater than arm or neck pain alone. Similar outcomes have been long associated with using a computer keyboard. It is predicted that if excessive texting behavior continues unabated, the number of nerve-related disorders such as osteoarthritis and degenerative disc disease will increase and lead to a debilitating pain syndrome that negatively affects school and or work performance. A more immediate concern is that inflammation of the basal joint at the base of the thumb due to excessive testing will result in thumb arthritis. This condition manifests itself in hand pain, swelling, decreased strength, and limited range of motion. The majority of people under the age of 45 have cell phones with them most of the day. In order to understand the impact which texting and computer use can have upon the spine, it's first necessary to understand what the normal anatomy of the spine looks like. The normal spine has natural curves that form the shape of an S. Viewed from the side, uh, we can see the lumbar spine and the cervical spine have what's known as a lordotic curve, which is a slightly inward curve, essentially curving uh, to the back or the posterior aspect of the body. While the thoracic spine, on the other hand, has what's called a kyphotic curve or a curve in the other direction. The cervical spine also has a lordotic curve with a curve to the back of the body posteriorly. The function of the curves is to allow the body to easily distribute its weight over the center of gravity. In doing so, it uh, facilitates movement of the spine and eases stress and tension on musculature and ligaments and cartilage which support the spine. Let's study very carefully what a normal posture looks like. In these images, the spine is seen in good balance with the head resting over the pelvis. Now let's look at a number of uh, positions which uh, people are typically seen texting or looking at the computer which are not very good for the cervical spine. The uh, pictures show the individuals with the head bent forward, tilted forward, leaning forward, placing excessive strain on the cervical spine and the upper thoracic spine. When we see an individual in a position with the head bent forward, leaning forward, and the upper thoracic spine bent forward in a posture for texting or looking at on the computer, let's see what is really going on with the spine itself. In these images, we can see what is happening to the anatomy of the spine, and over a long time, this can have very significant negative effects upon the spine itself. What are some of the symptoms that can occur from texting or using the computer with the head and neck and upper back in a poor posture position? Certainly, one can experience significant pain in the neck, in the shoulders, and the upper back. It can be a chronic nagging pain or more severe muscle spasms and sharp pains in these regions. Additionally, one can experience shoulder pain, pain in the upper arms, and if a uh, nerve is pressed upon by a herniated disc or bulging disc in the neck 
or by uh, narrowing of the uh, foramen, which are the openings in the cervical spine through which nerves leave the spine and travel to the arms, one can experience what's called radicular pain or shooting pain down the arms themselves, or even in more severe case, weakness of the upper extremities. As a result of significant neck and shoulder strain, one can also experience uh, headaches, which can either be short or mild or longer lasting in nature. So what are some things that one can do to try to prevent and to treat uh, the pain associated with texting that can come to the neck and shoulders? So first of all, uh, be very cognizant of your position when doing this. One can easily hold the phone down close to the waist and bend the neck forward to uh, be able to see the phone, or one can stand with a more erect posture, keeping the shoulders back, the neck up, the chin back, and uh, rather looking down with the eyes and not with the neck and the head, and hold the phone up a bit higher so one doesn't have to bend the neck and head to see the phone. Standing with a more erect position such as this may seem awkward or unusual at first, but it would, once one becomes used to it, it becomes second nature, and one will really feel the difference in less strain in the neck and uh, general feeling better in the neck, shoulder, and head region. Additionally, one can stop texting at the first sign of discomfort or pain. If you can't stop, at least cut back on the number of messages sent each day. Additionally, don't sit in the same position for long periods of time. Get up, move around, move the head side to side, stretch the body, the shoulders, the arms. These sorts of maneuvers will help to keep one limber and also help significantly to decrease neck pain and try to keep the proper curve in the cervical spine. In addition, to prevent excessive strain on the thumbs, use both thumbs if you can while texting and give your thumbs a rest while typing long messages. In conclusion, it is easy to see what causes uh, neck pain from texting, as well as shoulder pain, arm pain, headache. It's simple to follow some uh, easy to use solutions and guidelines to prevent this and treat this. So if one remembers to try to use the right posture when texting during the day and follow these simple guidelines, one should see a reduction in pain and an improvement in their daily quality of life. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. If you would like to have a question answered by Dr. Kraus, just complete the form at www.spinehealth.com forward slash contact hyphen us dot php. In the contact form, you'll notice a box requesting insurance. In this box, just simply type Ask Dr. Krauss. Thank you very much for listening, and look forward to seeing you soon next time.